Sapiens and Sapiens and Mobots, welcome back to my channel. Oh, so I just finished work kind of like and I just decided I was feeling all earthy and you know look at that eye line. I've basically been playing Injustice 2 for ever right now and I've also just been feeling you know really creative and I've just been feeling really earthy as well so I kind of meshed that together and put like you know the earth and obviously poison ivy a little hint of poison ivy and a hint of Tony Braxton I've done this hairstyle before um, and I I just loved it so I thought let me just have this hairstyle again for the channel are you look at that whoa 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 <laughs> so um, if you want to know how I got this kind of whimsical fairy woodland Whee! check out the video give this video a great big thumbs up now if you're a subscriber so I did use three products that I've never used before which are the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit I can't remember which one. I think it was Sunkissed. Um, I also used her foundation stick and I also used her uh, lip palette which you can mix and blend your own colours. So, yes! Um, and you know this this eyeshadow is clearly from BH Cosmetics because I am, I am not putting that down right now. I love the palette so much. So, if you want to know how I got this beauty Keep on watching. So to start off, I'm going to use the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation and I'm going to block out my eyelids with that and I'm going to blend all the way to the tops to my eyebrows. And yes, you can see that I've got sellotape on because I want that line to be sharp once I create the eye look. I'm also going to bring that foundation into the inner corners of my eyes and slightly down my nose. Now here's my first transition green colour and I'm going to be going backwards and forwards with this whole eye look so just bear with me on that. So first I put on my transition colour and then I'm going to put on my halo colour, should we say. And I'm using the BH Cosmetics 120 palette, second edition. I'm just going to pat that on kind of roughly just because I want to place it there first, just know where I'm going to go with it and then carry on with the greens. So I'm putting my second green here and I'm concentrating only on the part of the lid where it creases. In with my third green color blending the crease in with the uh, transition color adding some more yellow pigment to the lids and the lids only and using a fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend all of those colours lightly, not too much. Now in the outer corners, I'm using a, a purple, a blue and a black that I've mixed together. And I'm just creating some more um, depth into that colour. And I'm going to sweep that in into the transition colour and crease. Happy with that? Time to clean up. Using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in the shade Espresso, I'm going to now place my base on. I'm not a cream foundation fan, so yeah, but I'm going to have to blend this out vigorously with a, a brush. And I didn't use a sponge for um, purposes because I just didn't want to use a sponge in the whole video. So this is basically a first for me.
Now I'm using a cream concealer from Black Opal, which I've not really ever used before. I'm just using all cream products in this video, which, yeah. Didn't really want to, but you know, there's a first time for everything. And I'm going to blend that out with my fingers all the way, sweeping it up to my eyes and my cheekbones. And then I'm going to also blend it out with a brush later on afterwards, once I put my contour and everything else on. What I found about using cream concealers and foundations is that everything just takes that so much longer to blend out. It's so annoying, especially if you're not using a beauty blender or a miracle complexion sponge from Real Techniques. But anyway, we'll continue with the tutorial. <laughs> Time for some cream contour by Black Opal. So I'm just basically using the same brush that I blended everything else out with this contour just so that everything blends in together somewhat seamlessly. I am not a cream fan at this point and I won't be doing a video using cream contouring on foundation or anything again. was looking a little muddy so I had to rectify it with some concealer and then go over that again. Time to set that makeup and I'm using the Black Opal in medium loose powder, translucent powder. Snapchat time! <laughs> and now dusting off everything off my face so I can continue with the look. Now I'm going to be using my Eye Magics palette and I'm going to place green on to my cheeks first and I'm going to blend that out and I'm also going to bring it up into my forehead and create a widow's peak. Blend, blend, blend. I've literally just stuck my finger in the palette, so everything is messy at this point. And now I'm going to blend black and green together to deepen that green contour that I've created, as you can see. And place that all over my forehead also. 
Now time to add the contrasting of the yellow on top, just to highlight a bit. And now it's time to set that in place using the eyeshadows that I've already used on my eyelids. Mixing some green with black, I'm going to go down my nose bridge to create a more poison ivy contour. Highlight time! Now I'm going to highlight my nose slightly. I'm going down with a flat brush using the side of it so it's really thin and then I pat like a little circle on the tip. Don't forget to highlight that brow bone. Now I'm just applying some mascara before I put on my lashes, which I do off camera, of course. Using the third lightest of the greens that I use in this look, I'm placing that on my waterline and then I'm going to use the yellow to put in the inner corners and blend those in in the middle. more Anastasia to give me a healthy little glow. Because of the angle of my camera and my position of my body, you cannot see that I'm putting freckles on using the Eye Magics palette where I mix some green. You can't see it properly. I'm really sorry about that, but you're gonna con you can see just about. Now onto my lips to get that beautiful green. I'm going to mix a green using the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. And I can't remember what the addition, but like I said, all of the products that I'm using will be in the description box below. Now to stay true to the look, I'm mixing some yellow into this lip. Now for my glow in the dark paint, which I used in a function of, well, a launch of my first children's rave event, but uh, yeah, that's not what we're here for. We're here for this makeup. So I'm creating my freckles using the green of the paint. And then I'm going to use uh, the yellow to do the inner corners of my eyes. Now it does specifically say do not use or avoid contact with the eyes so you've got to be really careful if you're going to re recreate this look and make sure you're very steady handed literally forgot that i didn't do my eyebrows so i had to reach out to a bobby brown eyeliner gel and just quickly throw those brows on
going in with some more glow in the dark face paints i'm now using the invisible face paint so this does show up invisible when you don't have any makeup on but because they've, i've got makeup it's mixing with the makeup and whatnot so you can basically see it on my face and it does start peeling on my mouth region i don't know if that's because of the makeup or if it's because that's how the paints just do they peel after a while i'm not too sure but i'm creating like little vines or veins should i say for the um, end look where you know if i'm gonna go out in a black light I'm going to glow in the dark and I'm done. Ooh, bright lights! So Marvites, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget, you must please give me a great big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I mean, you don't really have to, but it does help. Mm -hmm. Also, comment down below if, you, if you're feeling this look and if you feel like I could have done something a little bit more extravagant, let me know and I will see what I can do. Um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe and share this all around your social media, especially on Twitter. You can find me on Twitter, by the way, as Rogue M. Scott. Yes, you get it. Yes, I've been Twittering quite a lot lately, which isn't really like me, but I have, and I'm doing Instagram like all the time and snapchat i love my snapchat all the links to these social medias that i'm actually just throwing out there i think i've got some plant in my mouth are on my channel so there's links there but i also will put them in the description box as well as the products that i've been using anyway ciao for now guys bye